I think it might be time for an update. I think I kind of did something with my hair. Um, yeah, I put dreadlocks in. Oh, it's been almost three months. Yep, three months now. And I did them myself. I did them with a twist and rip and crocheting and <laughs> they are at this really fun stage of um, adolescent obnoxiousness. I just washed my hair and it's all fuzzy right now. Super soft, super flexible, super amazing. I have, <laughs> wow, super something. That is just the hair tightening up and doing its thing. That's, I'm told that's normal. I was going to do some attempted maintenance to pull them in, but I really just need to leave them alone. I don't want to break anything. They literally every single one of them, the more so in the back are crazy. They are solid though. And that one's really nice. I have one that's ridiculously long. All of mine. Okay. So hi. <laughs> I am bucket list channel. I have had many bucket list items that I wanted to do in my life. And this is one of them. Um, that one's going to drive me crazy if it sticks up like that all day. I've always wanted dreadlocks since I was a little girl. I finally talked my husband into letting me have four. So I did four. And then I did four more. And then I did a whole bunch. And then I went, hey, can I just do the rest of my head? And he went, you know what? Go for it. Whatever. I think he thought I might have grown out of it and gotten to the point where I didn't want to do it anymore. But that didn't work. So I did them all. They're, my hair was to my butt. It has shrunk that much. Um, it's solid to there. And then I have wispies on the end just because I don't want it to be blunted. I have one little dinky tiny one. It's special. It was just the kind of the baby hairs up here in the front. And I was like, yeah, whatever. We're going to have a little tiny one. I think there's a little tiny one. It's really weird because you get to know where they all are and get to familiar with each one of them. They're also different. There's a little tiny one back here somewhere too. This one right here is really tiny. Um, I play with my hair so much. It's ridiculous. I have one that is long so he got the beads is like i don't know why it's still so long but you can see it's almost as long as my hair was originally it is dreading up and doing what it's supposed to do but it's totally different than the rest of them uh, about three weeks ago i went and bought some hair and I was going to try and give myself some extensions to give myself some length to make it give some weight to try and pull out some of these problems. I just, like I said, I just took a shower. So I'm trying to kind of roll those down, but they're not doing anything. Anyways, I'll leave them alone because I'll quit playing with my hair. Literally play with my hair all day long. Um, I love them. They are so much fun. I don't appreciate how many people look at me like I'm dirty now. And I really do want to get the shirt that says, yes, I wash my hair. There's something in it right there. Um, I wash my hair just as much as I wash my hair when I had straight hair. I even wash my hair with the same shampoo that I wash my hair with when I had straight hair. Granted, I've always used high-end, sulfate-free, expensive shampoo since I was a little kid and my best friend ruined me. Um... Yeah, same shampoo for over 30 years. That's pretty amazing, actually. Um, love the dreadlocks. Love the feel of them. I love how easy they are. I ride a Harley um, to work. I work at an elementary school, and I ride a Harley to school. Um, I love to be able to throw my helmet on and not have to do anything with my hair. If they tangle and rat, I run my fingers through like this, and they're gone. I don't have to worry about them tangling up around anything. Um, super easy. I get off my bike, throw my hair in a nice little loose bun, and I go on with my day. Pull my hair out of my bun. That one is really funny looking. And I go, um, back on my bike and go to my, wherever I want to go. Okay, so nobody told me about these before I got my hair done. And I did it all myself. I 
put in hours and hours and hours of time. I feel like I've kind of rambled on a lot. Um, the week before spring break, I put in four. These bottom four, and I was like, okay, I can hide them. They're these tiny little ones. They're, I mean, not that one. They're little, tiny, thick. Yeah. There's, I think there's three actually across the bottom. And they're definitely more mature than the other ones. Um, did those. I added the extensions. I did go buy some double-ended extensions and some single-ended extensions and some uh, hair. Try them all. I don't really like the feel of the fake hair. It's kind of crunchy. Um, my hair is super soft and I've always liked it super soft. Um, I did do the extensions. I put in about six inches, eight inches. I made them all up, weaved them all in. They lasted three days and I went, yeah, I feel like I'm being fake. I feel like I'm cheating the system and trying to do something I'm not. And they felt weird. And they, I was worried they were going to fall out, to be honest. So I pulled on one and it fell out in my hand. So I'm like, well, it's not in there very good. I might as well just take them out. And what took me almost six hours to put in, I had out in about 10 minutes, which was kind of pathetic. Um, so I decided that I was just going to let them do what they're going to do and be crazy and roll with them and let them happen. I can't wait till they start getting a little bit longer. I've had growth that I've had to weave in a couple different times. I was just working on this one a little bit ago and it's it's got, this is where the, the dread actually is and that's about how much has grown out. It's working its way in. This one back here, it is matted all the way up into here. So it's actually, oh, that one's connected. It's actually doing a good job of matting all this hair and picking up all the, the loose little ones around it. Same with this one. They're picking up the hands. This one was kind of funny because I did do some, um, oh, what's it called? Um, it's a style where you flip it in on itself. You split it in half and then you flip it and pull it through the middle. And I'm not sure what it's called. I'll put it on the screen. Um, and it split and it's actually kind of it feels like there's two bits like there's a bit here and you can kind of see the hole in the middle and a bit here but they will dread together and they will fix the one thing that i did get for advice that i was very excited that i got as advice was put a part on the side put a part on the other side and have no part down the middle so when I put my hair up, if I want to do double ponytails, I have one of those cool little zigzags going down the middle. I do have this one in the front. I should have done like a triangle, but I don't hate it. I wear my hair to the side most of the time. Um, put that one back there. It's always got me. Uh, tuck him in there. He can behave. Uh, love them. That's a lot of fun. Uh, they are currently dripping on me because they're drying so the ends stay wet. My hair dries pretty fast so far. There's moisture there, but it's not. They'll be dry in the next hour. I know as they get more mature, they do tend to hold water a little bit deeper inside, and so they will take a little bit longer to dry. But I'm, again, not real worried about it. Dreadlocks are a lot of fun. I think I'm going to start throwing up a few videos here about dreadlocks and um, people have different reasons for them. Some do it for spiritual reasons, some do it for I don't want to have to wash my hair as much and you don't have to wash your hair but your scalp gets itchy and you get dandruff a lot if you don't take care of it the right way. I like to wash my hair. I like the feel of my hair. I love water so I like to go swimming. I like to play in the river. I like to go in the ocean. I like to do all that kind of stuff. And yes, I will still do all of those things. Um, my neighbor across the way, he had dreadlocks when we moved here a couple years ago and he cut them all off. He goes, it was just too much work. I just couldn't take care of them. I'm like, huh? I said, most people get dreadlocks so they don't have to take care. He goes, yeah, but I like to go to the river and I couldn't get them wet. I'm like, get them wet. Do the river. Don't worry about that. But his also were really big. So they were like bigger than my thumb. They were like thick. Where mine are what I call or is called pencil thin. 
they're pretty thin. So if I go outside on a 90 degree day, they're drying about 10 minutes, which is kind of nice. Uh, I have had some concerns. Um, again, people do them for different reasons. I just didn't because I wanted them. But I also said I work in an elementary school. And the elementary school that I work in doesn't care what my hair looks like. I've been there for seven years and they're like, they're used to me. I'm kind of crazy. Um, okay, I'm really crazy. Uh, but again, they're used to me. <laughs> I wear shorts in the wintertime. I wear flip-flops to school. Um, it's not a problem. I'm clean. I'm neat. And the kids respect me. Um, but I applied for a new position this year. I applied for a secretary position. And... I hope that I'm not being judged by my hair when I apply for a job. We'll see if I get it and if it has anything to do with it. Will I be respectful? I will. Absolutely. My hair will always look nice. I will always have it put up in a nice, neat bun. Um, in a not in your face, discreet, professional looking um, way. I also apply for a job at the high school. <laughs> High school might be different. I might actually have pigtails at high school because the kids are a lot more fun there. Um, I told my husband because I'm also, you know, doing my, I want to lose a hundred pounds and that journey is still a journey and I'm still working on it. I have been losing weight again, which is kind of fun. If you haven't seen any of those, go check those videos out. It's a lot of information on a lot of different diets and a lot of ways that you can do things. I also love my kefir. There's more on that also over there. Um, but dreadlocks are interesting. I've watched a lot of videos on dreadlocks. I watched, um, there's a lot of people, Liz Kidder, she's really big on it. Liza Locks is really big. I like their videos. They are more into the, just kind of let them be and do your maintenance if you want to color it. But I also noticed that most people who have dreadlocks are blonde. They bleach their hair. They're blonde. I don't want to be a blonde dreadlock person. I want to be me. And I have very dark hair naturally. And... It is very straight and very fine. I don't know. You can go see it. It's in my other videos. Oh my gosh, it's so straight, so long, and so fine. Um, but I told my husband, I said, okay, I have 42 dreadlocks. He goes, okay, and I said, so if I lose every two pounds I lose, I will put a bead in a dreadlock. Well, I've got five in this one because it's my long special one. He goes, okay, well, that's... That's 84 pounds. You don't need to lose 84 pounds. I'm like, actually, honey, I do. I need to lose over 100 pounds. He was just looked at me like dumbstruck. I'm like, yeah, I am five foot seven and a half. I am a very muscular built person, but I still need to lose some weight. I may not make my 100 pound goal, but I might. Anyways, I want to figure out a way to tie my dreadlocks into it. I might get my beads out and and count them up and put them in my hair and maybe I'll take them out every time I lose 10 pounds or something, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. I might just each, each memorial weight. So as I lose weight, my body likes to pause and, um, I'm at one of my happy set points right now. Um, down 20 pounds is another happy set point down 40 pounds is another happy set point. And then I get into the, I've never been this weight before area. So well, obviously I have, cause I was not always this big. I was a baby once. So it's going to be interesting, but I don't know. I kind of want to do something with it, but I don't know how to do it. I don't know what I want to do with it. Um, I am going to do some more explanation videos. I went out and I bought all the crochet hooks. I went out and bought all the fancy tie your hair up clips. I've got a box full of crap. Not crap. Good stuff. Hair accessories. Um, I've got a latch hook. I've got the things. What is it called? I gotta look it up now because it's gonna drive me nuts. God. Different ways to dread hair. Interlocking, that's what it's called. I didn't even get it to pop up when it came to my head. Interlocking, where you put the ends in this little metal thing and you pull it tight and then you weave it in your, in like you take it through the roots and you push it through, like you make a part and just push, shove it through your hair. Um, I did some of that on some of them and I didn't like the way it, it pulled them really tight. I can find one. I can feel it. 
I think that's the biggest thing. With the interlocking, it's like really tight and it's not as flexible. That one's so soft. It's not as flexible and smushy. Oh, that one's fun. Where did it go? This one right here. My hair is really light in some of these and that's actually from when I dyed my hair three years ago. So my tips will be a little bit lighter in some of them. But for the most part, they're all pretty natural. I don't do anything with my hair for the most part. Um, I'll do some, I did some, I don't know. I tried it all and I went, this is a lot of work. I thought this was supposed to be easier. I want to wash my hair, dry my hair and go about my day. I don't want to have to do root maintenance. I don't want to have to do what about all these weird little things. I don't want to have to worry about when I go swimming in the river or go rafting in the river. Don't get my hair wet. I mean, yesterday I went on a jet boat ride and it was so much fun. And I put my hair, I put a bandana on my hair to protect my sweet little white scalp. And I got sunburned everywhere else, but my head was okay. But I had fun. I wasn't worried about getting my hair wet. And it was kind of nice. Um... Ah, it's supposed to make it easier. It totally is easier when I'm riding my Harley. My husband says I look like Medusa when I wake up in the morning because my hair is like crazy. But then I sit up, I go like this, pull this over, tuck it behind my ears, and I am ready for my day. Except for this one, he just does whatever he wants to do. Um, I am thankful. Somebody also said to make these ones right around your ears extra small so they're not pulling on your ears. I have lots of piercings in my ears and I like that they're small enough that I can tuck them. Like this one's pretty tiny too. I know it doesn't look tiny, but it's pretty tiny and I can just throw it behind my ear and it's happy back there and it just stays back there all day unless I put my hair up. Um, my hair is getting shorter and shorter. There is shrinkage clearly because if my hair was to my butt and it's now this long, except for this weird one, um, there's some shrinkage, a lot of shrinkage, like, I don't know, a third, it goes down from 18, no, 24 inches down to eight inches, substantial shrinkage. It might be because I did such small dreads. It might be because my hair is so fine. I didn't want my dreadlocks very big, but I don't have a lot of hair. When I would put my hair in a ponytail, it was the size of my pinky in my ponytail at the top of my head. I could take all my mass long hair and make a bun and it was like, I don't know, the size of a cutie orange. So I didn't have a lot. I had a lot, it was a lot of length, but it was not a lot of volume. Now I put my hair in a ponytail and the ponytail's is big around and I love it. I love the volume I have with my hair. So, that was one of my main reasons is to have some substantial hair. Um, I love it. I think I've said that a few times. I really do. <laughs> um, it's easy. My husband, he's getting used to it. My son, he goes, no, mama looks cool. I was like, wow, that's nice for a 17 year old to say. My daughter says she likes it, but I wonder sometimes my daughter-in-law goes, I'm just not used to you, used to you with short hair. I'm like, that's fair. Get used to it. Cause I'm not changing it. Um, I, yeah, my husband goes, well, when you grow out of this phase, I'm like, mm, I don't know that I'm going to. Uh, he goes, it's okay. I still like it. Everybody goes, well, what happens? You just have to shave your head. I'm like, I could, but that's something I've always wanted to do also in my life. Wanted dreadlocks, wanted to shave my head. I guess I'm weird like that. But no, you can comb them out. It takes a while. It's not the most pleasant process, but you can still comb them out. Ooh. Me. Um, going through life, living life. I am 45 years old and I got dreadlocks for the first time. I feel like I'm going to an AA meeting right now and admitting some guilt, but I really don't feel guilty about it. I like them. Um, yeah, getting to do some things that I've always wanted to do. And I would do them for somebody if they asked me to. I would also say, hey, do the research because if you go to a salon, it's going to cost you hundreds and hundreds of dollars to do it. And if I wouldn't have bought all the accessories, if I would have just gone with the basics, I probably would still have my crochet hook because that made it really easy to start the process and get everything lined up. 
I probably, if I had it to do over again, I would have one of my girlfriends or my daughters come over and help me part my hair because my husband really didn't care. He didn't have a clue what he was doing and he just kind of did what he was told. But I don't know what the back of my head looks like and it kind of bothers me. I mean, I can kind of feel it. It's not like it's bald or anything, but I just feel like it's not as pretty as it could have been. Um, it's still wet. I might have to go outside for a little while. Those ends are wet. But it's done. So what's there is there and that's the way it's going to be. Um, there's a lot of little free hairs flying around in there. They're getting better and better. This part line is where I wear my hair all the time. So it's pretty happy. These ones are used to being thrown over the back and in the out of the way. And they just kind of <laughs> stick out. I do wear it up a lot. I know as I get it gets longer and there gets to be more of it, I won't wear it up as much um, when it looks better down. Uh, Terry just bought me a bunch of things to put up in my hair, which was very sweet of him. He's like, why don't you get some of these? These are cute. I'm like, oh, thank you. I could never wear a hairband before with the way my hair was because it was so fine. The hairband would just go and be off of my head. Um, I did wear bandanas. I have always worn bandanas since I was in like middle school, junior high. That's what we used to call it. Junior high. When I was in junior high, seventh and eighth grade. And that was the thing of the 80s and the 90s. That's what we did. Hot pink headbands and white headbands and it, big, big, big bangs. Um, bangs are definitely a thing of the past. And I don't think I would pull any free hair out. I had a partial where just the back was dreaded and the top was still smooth and the top, top came down over it. But it spent a lot of time trying to tangle up into those dreads, so it just was more work than I wanted it to be. And I said, you know what, I'm just doing all of it, and I'm done. It took me <clears throat> a couple hours to do the first seven, and then I did the next row. I think the next row was nine, so I did three, staggered four, then I did five, and then I went to the sides, and I did two on each right here, so that made nine. And then I think the next row was like 14, but anyways, I ended up with 40 and in the back, there were these two that were just big and I didn't like them. So I took them out and I split them in half and I made four. So that gave me the 42. Um, so I've got all these nice cute squares all the way around. And then in the middle, there's these two that are like diagonal cut triangle weird. I, I don't know what it looks like. I need to make my husband take a picture of it for me. Um, and then I did, I saved the center section right here. For last so I had my part on that side and I had my part on that side and I had my part in the back and I just kind of I did this section these like back two here and then I did these two kind of offset from them so that they didn't match and I did the one in the middle so that gave me three and then I did the three in the front that were again off a little bit from the the last row behind it so that they they sat nicely and I didn't have a bunch of like I still have a bunch of root up there, but it's fine, whatever. Um, but you can see the fuzzies, it's part of life. I have Liz Kidder's, no, I have, what is it? The locking spray, tightening spray, Dolly Locks, that's what it is. Dolly Locks tightening spray, and I have used it, and I like the way it feels, and I love the way it smells. But I don't know how necessary it is, and I don't know if it's something that you need. Uh, like I said, I wash my hair a lot. My hair feels soft. My scalp is happy. I don't get the dandruff, and um, everything is moist and not brittle and gross. So I'm just going to let it do what it's supposed to do. I was going to sit here tonight because I have a high school graduation I have to go be the photographer at tomorrow night. And I thought I might make it look nice. But you know what? It's going to go up in a bun, so I don't really care. And that'll be how it is. Um, it'll be fine. <laughs> That's what I always say. It'll be fine. Um, well, I've rambled on for 25 minutes now. Oh, I'm sorry. The things that I do um life is busy crazy all over the place but hopefully it's gonna start settling down summer vacation is here and <sighs> i have summer school that i'm teaching third fourth and fifth grade 
Then I have preschool, pre-K that I'm teaching for six weeks. And then I go back to my regular job unless I get my new job. And then I have other issues that I have to take care of. Anyways, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff going on. So I will keep you posted. But this is month three. There's a couple of videos where you can see them in my other videos. I'll go pull them and share them to this um, group of... Uh, uh, vlogs but things changing things coming things going my kids think I'm crazy my gra my grandkids just love me for who I am they'll never know me without dreadlocks so they'll, I'll just be the crazy Oma that has her hair looks like snakes but if you love them and you want them do one one nice little tucked away it's my very first one so she's special but tucked away in the back just do one and let it be give it a week give it a couple days if you like it do another one if you don't like it just calm it out it's not a big deal when you first put them in they're going to be fuzzy frizzy and super soft the longer you have them the more the hairs start bunching up and tightening up and getting grouped up the firmer they get and they shouldn't feel crunchy. They shouldn't feel rough. They should be be soft and nice and comfortable. Um, one other thing, how do you sleep on them? I have this really cool pillow. It's flat on the bottom, goes up, goes in, and then it's got a dip for you to sleep on your shoulder with your neck in it or whatever. Well, I flip it so that it's behind me and I put my hair in that hole and I sleep like a baby. My hair goes up. I pull it up with my arms. I take it and I pull it up. And I set it behind my pillow and I sleep just as happy as can be. It's not a problem. When you want it, you figure it out. You find a way and you do what you got to do. Research, research, research. It's all out there on YouTube. There's so many options. You can twist and rip. You can back comb. I used a knit pick for head lice to back comb my hair. Um, and then I rolled it, palm rolling, and then I crocheted it, and then I did the interlocking. I mean, it. I like the loose roots better than the tight roots. My roots are nice and loose right now, and the, it just makes it more comfortable. It's more flexible and breathable. I could tighten them all up. I don't think I'm going to, though. I wish these were gone. I don't like the loops. The loops are where one side of your hair pulls in tighter. And so this, it kind of pinches it. And then the other part just like poofs out because it's not tight yet. So let me find out. That was a really good one. Um, you can see like right here where this one's bulging up, this side pulled in tight and that hasn't pulled in yet. It will eventually suck in or it won't. And it'll flatten out. It'll work itself out. Um, yeah. I I would say my parents would roll over in their grave, but they're still alive. I've read a lot of stuff on a lot of people in the past have had dreadlocks. It's not a cultural thing. So don't even go off on me about it being a cultural thing and how I'm going against black people and white people have had dreadlocks way, 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 way back. It's not a cultural thing. It's a hair thing. It's no different than black people who dye their hair blonde. Honestly, I am not a racist person. I like the style. I like the way my hair feels. It makes me feel better. Something fun. To me, it's no different than coloring your hair, cutting your hair, growing your hair to your knees. It's just a hairstyle. I'm not trying to be something that I'm not. I'm just being me. And I mean, all the kids that I know, any of the, the colored kids, internationalities, foreign exchange students, everybody. Oh my gosh, I love your hair. Nobody's been offended by my hair. In my local region, it's not a big deal. It's not as cultural as people want it to be, I don't think. I know in the past, there have been people who haven't been able to get jobs because of it. And I probably wouldn't want a job where I couldn't be me. So... If I don't get the job that I want, I'll stay where I am because I'm allowed to do whatever I want. 
honestly, I would probably take it up with my union and be like, they didn't hire me because of my hair and that is not acceptable. And I'd probably win. So tell them what you want to do. Be who you want to be. Make today great. Be a better person. And here's to a healthier, happier, you and me.